Hello everybody, this is Christoph Rumper here and in today's video I want to show you more about the quick replies feature in Facebook Messenger chatbots. So you've probably seen and maybe used it already. Quick replies are these little buttons here that you can attach to a message and besides showing some text there are some more features that you can use like sending location, um, your phone number, or um, your email address and yeah this is what I want to show you today in this video and we're going to use of course the Botman chatbot framework by Marcel Pozio. So thanks again Botman for helping us out with all these great features and yeah I'm going to use a Botman Studio application so if you don't know how to set that up and how to connect it to Facebook um, check out the documentations here from Botman Studio and you can also check out my blog where I have a bunch of articles um, about chatbots. You can click here the category and then there are lots of articles where I explain how to use Botman, how to use Facebook Messenger chatbots and yeah a lot of more. So check that out as well if you don't know um, what I'm talking about. But yeah, today is about quick replies. So um, the setup I have here is I have here my messenger chat where you can all already see some of the um, debug messages that I've already tried. And I have here my Botman Studio application where I only have connected it to Facebook until now and have here a listener where I listen to I want more. And to check that everything is working, just um, let us reply to that. Hey. Okay, so when someone says I want more, we send back hey. Let's try it out. I want more. And yeah, luckily everything is working, so our setup is ready. So um yeah let's dive right in and see how we can send quick replies with um, Botman Studio. So what we can do is we can again reply here and instead of a string we are replying a question object but, um, which is from Botman and we have a text that will be sent to it. So let's say let's ask are you sure? And to this message, we can add some buttons. And we're using the outgoing actions buttons by Botman, which have a text that will be shown. And they also have a value, which you don't see, but which will be sent to the application if the user clicks it. Okay, let's copy that and make another one for, no, we don't want more. And the value will also be no. Okay, good enough. Try it out. I want more. And yeah, I'm happy we see the quick replies buttons from Facebook Messenger. And they're beneath our message, which, is, uh, which says, are you sure? And then I can click them and the value will get sent back to our application. So nothing happens because we haven't dealt with that yet. So um, let's do this now. Let's create another listener. Botman here is and we're listening for the yes value, which we're attaching to one of the buttons. And we need the callback here. No, but five. Um, but. Okay, like that, and then we reply again with a simple message saying um, awesome. And of course, we need to add an emoji because that's cool. Yeah. Nice. Now we can try it again. I want more. We get our replies. I say yes. And we get a reply back. So we listen for 
basically I want more sentence, then we're replying with our question object with some buttons, which will get um, translated to the quick replies in Facebook Messenger. And then we're listing for yes, which is the value that we have provided for the yes button. And if it gets sent to our application, then we reply with awesome. So this is what we've got so far and it works quite nice. The only thing that I don't like is that normally you have, when you have this kind of um, conversation, you don't do this in your Botman route file. Instead, you will use a Botman conversation. So that's what we want to do now. So let's get rid of the second listener. And here, instead of replying, we are starting a new conversation. And I have already one set up, which is called quick reply conversation. Again, if you don't know how to create conversations and how they work, check out the Botman documentation or uh, my blog articles. So it's just an empty conversation here. And with every conversation, first the run method is called automatically. And here I'm just um, running the ask about more method, which I have created and where I will now do what we've done before. So let's, yeah, here I have my question again. And instead of immediately replying, I'm just saving it here in a variable question we need to import the namespaces for question and buttons okay this is fine and then here inside conversations we can ask the user something so we do this with disk ask then we're putting in the message or the message object which we have here is our question object and then we have a callback again now with the answer as a parameter and here inside um, callback I can say if dollar answer get value so we we need to check the value if it's yes then we will reply again with our message awesome and yeah, let's take the beer now and not a mochi. And let's see if this still works. I want more. Are you sure? Yes, I am. And here, yeah, awesome, we get our reply back. So the same example that we had before is working. But now we're using a Botman conversation, which um, yeah, makes our Botman file much nicer now and not that filled up and all of our logic from this conversation we have here inside this um, conversation class okay perfect so now we've um, so far we've handled the default um, quick reply um, buttons but I told you that there is more there are buttons for the location the phone number and the email so let's um, see how that looks like Let's begin with the email address. So let's ask the user, can you give me your email address? Okay, and now instead of using these um, general Botman buttons, we need to use some which are specifically for the quick reply. So these also only work with Facebook Driver. So we create the quick reply button and the text that we use here doesn't matter now because um, inside the button we will have our email address already put in there. So let's add the type here and the type is user email. And now instead of checking the value, we are just we're just checking if we can grab the email address. So let's say thanks for your email address. And we 
can grab it through um, the answer value. So that's what we get back. Okay, this looks good to me. Let's try it out. I want more. And yeah, this looks good. Can you give me your email address? And here we have the quick reply button already filled with my um, Facebook email address. And if I want to give it to the user, and this is what I want, I can click it and it will then get sent back to the chatbot and the chatbot, um, our Bob and Sudi application in this, in this case gets it and we receive it through the get value method and we can put it out here and we can use it internally for storing somewhere or sending some emails. So that's a really great and nice feature to provide the email address and this also works with your phone number. So let's see what this looks like. First, we ch um, change the text here. Can you give me your phone number? And the type is user phone number now. And then we can again grab a few to get value. Thanks for your phone number. Try it out, I want more. Okay, now we don't get a button, so we don't see a button. So what happens here is I don't have a phone number connected to my Facebook account, and this is why we don't see the button here. So Facebook um, won't show the button. So this is something you have to be very carefully because we want to use this feature and people don't have um, their phone number connected to their account they won't get to see these buttons. So um, yeah, this is, this is kind of a problem. And this is also why I can't show you how it works. But theoretically, you will then um, again, can grab the address or the phone number through the get value. So um, let's move on to the last example and my favorite one, which is the location. So we can ask about the user's location. Can you give me your location? The type is just location. And what's different here is that we don't get um, location through get value because this is different here. Because we get the location um, through a location object. So location. Location is, um, so from the answer, we grab the message object and from that we can get the location. And this is a location object. And here we can check that out. It's attachment location. And in this location, we have methods for get the longitude and the latitude. And this is what we are going to do. Thanks for your location. Longitude, we will print that out. Is location get longitude? And again, the same would work for latitude, but um, let's leave it like that. Okay, let's do it again. I want more. So again, we see here, um, thanks for the phone number. And this is because the conversation is still cached. So I need to run PHP artisan class clear and try it again. I want more. Okay, now it's working. We have our can you send me your location message and now we have the button with send location. And when you click that, Facebook will open up this little um, map here and here I can move around my location. So right now I'm here by Vienna, but I can also send another one like here from Munich. And we'll then send this location. You get this little icon here, a little um, background image here from the location that you shared. And then as you've seen, we um, print out the longitude for this location. So this is really cool, especially if you want to provide some information about the surrounding of the user. 
So maybe you want to show him some restaurants or other um, cafes that he could check out or maybe some shops nearby. So this is how it, um, the chatbot can grab your location and you can provide it to him. And I think this is a really cool feature that um, with what you can do really a lot with chatbots. So I really like how Facebook is hang handling that and the quick replies is a great way of um, getting things like your email address or your current location or phone number, but only when it works, of course. So, okay, great. Um, that's it for this video. I hope I could show you how um, to use these quick replies here from Facebook Messenger and how Botman makes it very easy to use the quick replies. So thanks to Botman again. And yeah, if you want to know more about Botman and Facebook Messenger, check out one of my articles. That's it for now. Thank you very much. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.